So, hello YouTube world. Let's talk colours. So I have whites and I have various shades here of grey, ranging from dark, dark there, all the way back to white. And what I want to do is an angry sky. And then I have various shades of green. So I have a light, that's no, I don't know the brands, but that is like a golden green. Not golden brand as in golden, it's just called gold green. That's a sap green. No, I don't know what that is. See, I'm getting mixed up already. But the point is, I'm going from dark to light to light to light. And they're all round about on the same spectrum, so the same kind of hue. Now, if I, to illustrate this point, if I move here to a phthalo green, you can see that they clash. So I won't be using the phthalo green, but I'm using kind of foresty type greens that you find in nature. I've also got this quite bright vivid green here, I don't know if I'm going to use that yet. I've got gold and I've got my pearl. Now, let me explain what I'm going to do. Swapped over to a voiceover because it's easier. I've got a squeaky chair though. Um, we're using a Windsor and Newton cotton canvas. I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've got um, four flip cups there, but actually I only use three. Now I saw a picture on Facebook and um, I can't remember who posted it, but it inspired me to paint this pitching, picture. And what it was, was a picture of some cornfields on a dark and dingy day. But the light and the colours in it were amazing. And if I had permission from the person that did it, I would have actually inserted it into this video. So, reach out. If, you, if you're the person that took the picture, you'll know exactly when you see the finished painting. <laughs> you'll know exactly who you are. So I lay my cups up with the white and the various shades of grey. Now this is quite an epic painting that took, quite frankly, took the life out of me. But I am denied about posting it. But you know what? I hope it inspires you out there because sometimes things don't work out the first time round. And you just have to keep going. And the most important thing is that you end up with something that you're happy with. So I put my base down a dark green and then I'm doing my flip cuts here. Now what I did wrong was I should have flipped horizontal, horizontally not vertically, because the skies don't really do that, do they? And I really play around a lot with this sky and you will see I, I, I actually speed up the video and I cut locks out but I gave up on this painting but in a good way because I just started to play around and not really care that's an email not really care actually what was going on and I just had fun with it and you can see there that I decided to add more white to the sky. And I decide to get a straw and madly blow out the edges. Now, I get quite dizzy doing this actually. Until I remembered later on in the video, I've got one of those mini, mini blow, leaf blower things, which I do get out eventually. <laughs> So I just work on blending away, blending away with a straw. Now don't forget, I've got a picture in my mind as to what I, I want to achieve. And to a certain extent with fluid art, you, you, you 
just have to keep going and sometimes the gods give you a beautiful painting straight away and other times you just have to keep going. So I give up on the sky for the moment and I start layering my greens for my swipe. I don't like to be too careful, I'm trying to be a bit more freer and a bit more looser. That's something that I learned with Gail actually when I did the collaboration with her. And I start swiping. Now, I have noticed recently that I haven't been get, getting so many cells and I've had a few inquiries actually because I think there's a few people in the UK are having a similar issue with the hour troll, flow troll. Now I noticed that I have a new bottle and the branding is slightly different, the packaging is slightly different and I'm just wondering whether it's the same, you know, whether the recipe's the same. I don't know. I haven't done anything different. I know I'm not a massive fan of cells because I like them, but I like to control them. I don't want to walk away from a painting, come back and they've, they've grown and tripled in size because I've worked very hard at the composition to get to what I want. And then you come back a couple hours later and that composition's gone. But again, I guess that's fluid art for you. So, going back in with some dark green. There's nothing wrong with swiping multiple times to get what you want. So I'm trying to really create some depth here the bottom of a cornfield. <laughs> Stick with it, honest. I never seem to cut up enough paper towels either, so I always have to stop, cut some more up, go back. And I also don't really like, I don't really like doing swipes anymore and it's just a swipe it doesn't do anything for me um, it has to be representative of something that's just the way I'm going so there's too much going on in the sky it's too fancy too fancy <laughs> Looking back at this video, I mean, this is a few weeks old now, I think, well, that's not too bad there. And it's good doing this as well because it make, you learn from what you do watching back. Even if you, do you know, even if you haven't got a YouTube channel, and even if you've got no intention of having a YouTube channel, film your paintings because you can look back and you can see and you can learn, I should have stopped there. Why did I do that? Why, why did I carry on? And you just, it's just good for the reflection. So I'm just doing a few schmears, as Gay will call them. And I want to bring, oh, I use a fork. I want to bring that corn up into the sky. And this is where I've kind of lost the will in a good way. I'm thinking, oh, just let's see what happens. Let's just do this. But you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, there's my... <laughs> so I start, I start to blend the sky. You know, with acrylics, in the normal acrylic painting, not fluid art, you work very hard at blending acrylics and, and acrylics are notoriously hard to blend actually unless you use a soft gel gloss medium. Um, they're not impossible, it can be done, but without Floetrol or without pouring medium added to acrylics they dry incredibly quickly. But I, I'm really working here in, in blending the sky 
And don't forget, I want a, quite an angry sky. And I think that's looking quite angry, actually. And I should have, if I'd have stopped there, I think I probably would have been quite happy. But I don't, I don't want the sky to be so dominant. That's why I'm working on blending, blending those colours. Oh, and I go in with green, dark green. So obviously, and the gold, I'm trying to create depth. And just to see if I can get some cells coming up as well. But by the time I finished with this, that there are no cells. I wish I'd made myself a cup of coffee actually sat here doing this. My mouth feels quite dry. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? This all goes by the way. It all has to go. I don't like it when you look at a painting and your eye doesn't know where to focus. So there's so much going on. But a painting works when your eye travels around the painting and there's focus. So swiping again. I think this is the last time actually. That's it looks white, but that is pearl. Actually, it's not the last time I swipe. Because I go back in with gold. I'm sorry about my squeaky chair. I also, if you notice, don't really do, don't really enjoy or like going straight down with my swipes anymore. I like to have a little bit of a wiggle. So now I'm using some plastic. I think it's just, I do these encapsulated notices from my studio and I cut them up every now and then and they've got quite a light touch. Now you can see the depth beginning to build up. Gold. So, that's that gold green. So I, I am working now on the heads of the corn. Dragging that down. So you've got a few, quite a few layers going on of colour got background, you've got some mid-ground and you've got the foreground. You can see that, that looks pretty cool actually. So <laughs> I'm laughing because I know what's coming. So just pulling that paint up into the sky and creating like a wavy effect. Heads of corn blowing in the wind, waiting for a humongous storm to come. So when I watched this back, I took a great big gulp of breath here because I can't remember doing this. But obviously, maybe it was late at night and I've had a glass of wine, but I obviously didn't like this. There's my email again. I obviously didn't like the sky. It just had to go. A little bit of pearl. I think I'll go in with some black here, yeah. And you can you can tell I'm just not being careful. I am just going for it and seeing what happens. And actually, sometimes you just have to do that because that is how you find out new things. See what you're capable of. Push yourself. Now I, know, I know quite a few people will probably make the comment that, oh, if you just stopped at such and such a spot, it would have been really good. Yes, and you're probably right. But here we go, pulling the corn up into the sky again. I 
beginning to feel a lot happier with this now. It's quite addictive doing this. Not the voiceover. <laughs> Using a palette knife. You can't, I think I've said before, you can't afford to be too timid with it. You really have to put the palette knife in flat and pull it through the paint. It's no good just leaving, just using the tip, nothing will happen. Back in with a fork to create the heads. So, what can I say? I feel exhausted after this. Um, the picture I had in my head, I think I've achieved that really. You can see that I scrapped the sky and did it again. I swiped again and I again till I got what I wanted. There's not a lot of cells going on. I don't think there's any actually, just a few down there. But that's okay. As you know, I'm not necessarily a cell person. Let me just step up this ladder. But there is depth in this. I was going after a cornfield on a dark day. But with the breeze blowing through it will go up higher this might need a little bit of encouragement when it's dry I might paint some dark green just to give those heads the corn heads there um, a little bit more depth so that they they pop out but on the whole I'm glad I kept going <laughs>